Hey everyone, it's Jess, and today I wanted to unbox a very special Christmas present that just came in the mail. I know Christmas has passed, but it just keeps on coming with these shipping delays, and this is something that I've been wanting for a very long time, and Max decided to get it for me with all these coupons. He actually got it at GameStop, of all places, and it combines a couple of my favorite things, which is cooking and Pokemon, which you may not know about me unless you've seen our McDonald's video. And without further ado... Ugh! I got a Pokemon waffle maker, isn't that cool? When I was a little girl, my Uncle Jerry got me a Hello Kitty waffle maker, which I would talk about all the time. And um, honestly, this one I think is a lot better because if you look, the waffles are square. My Hello Kitty waffle maker, they were shaped like Hello Kitty's face, so they weren't good for like sandwiches. And I think I could use this to make um, sourdough waffles, and then we can use them to make breakfast sandwiches because we don't always have English muffins. That'll be a really fun way to make breakfast sandwiches. And I also like that this is pretty flat, like it's not as those bumpy things in a waffle iron, so I think this might also work as a sandwich press. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, so it's gotta be smaller than this box, and this box is already kind of small. I think my kitty one was bigger. Let's pop this guy open. It's got a little pika pika. Yeah, this was probably around $30, if not less, because there was some sort of weird sale on appliances at GameStop. I didn't even know that GameStop sold appliances at all but um, they were like 15% off, and then Max also had a coupon from his email that he applied to this purchase. So that's pretty cute. It's got a little Pokeball, and I assume this is like, oh, it's hot and ready, or it's on, but it's not hot enough. I never look at the directions on waffle makers. I just preheat them, and then I put them in for usually about five minutes, but you can also visually tell um, that the waffles have stopped steaming, and that means they start getting crispy. So let's open that up. It has a cute little paper. And this is what I meant by the ridges not being very deep. If you look at these, it looks like I could use this as a sandwich press. So this isn't just a one and done type of appliance, which is why I'm normally against buying stuff like this. This is really small and I think I'll be able to just stick this under my cabinet next to my Instant Pot because it's so little. I'm really done with having stuff on the counter because our house is really small. I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see what we can waffle iron. <laughs> All right, so our waffle iron is almost done preheating and I've got the stuff to make a little turkey and cheese grilled sandwich. And I'm gonna load it up with pepper jack cheese, which is one of our favorites. And this is some of my home roasted turkey from the food bank. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray just because I don't want it, anything to get stuck. I love this Misto um, oil thing because it doesn't have the bad chemicals of aerosol cans, which is also really bad for the environment. So we're going to, I'm probably going to have to hold this the whole time, but it's like it senses that there's something in there. It's green. I've honestly never used a waffle iron as a panini press, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it. Ooh, geez. Um, so like there's all these different videos about like will it waffle and they put like the most random things in waffle irons to see if it'll turn out okay. And um, so I thought this one would be a good choice because of the shape of it. It's more square and it's shallow so I could squish more things in it. So maybe we could try doing kick mixes or um, uh, my favorite thing to eat is actually cornbread waffles. So I keep getting all this cornbread from the holiday food pantry stuff and they're all in the back of my pantry. I've only made like one of them. But um, I, now that I have this, I'm gonna make my favorite, which is cornbread waffles. The reason I like it so much is because I actually really like the crispy cornbread on a corn dog, but I'm not so big on the hot dog in the middle. So I like to do that. And um, whenever my parents would go grocery shopping, me and my sister and my grandma would look at each other and say, let's make cornbread waffles. Cause it made three waffles with the waffle iron that I had. Ooh, that's looking good. I was looking good. I can actually close it now. Cause like, we want to get those crispy cheese edges. So I'm gonna let this go until it pretty much stops steaming. But yeah, so me and my sister and my grandma would whip up a batch of cornbread waffles. And my parents would not really like us making waffles because they thought it was messy for us to like do the batter and get the Hello Kitty waffle iron out. So we would only do it when my parents weren't home. And then we would eat all of the cornbread cause it was just perfect. One box for the three of us. We would be happy and it'd be our little secret. The reason like these type of appliances tend to be like more kid friendly is because there's no like even though it does have a heating element, it doesn't have an open flame. So yes, this part gets hot, but like the outside of it is not as hot. There's less opportunity of things to catch on fire because there's no fire. Like growing up, we had a gas stove. So my parents were really trepidatious about letting me use the stove 
so they are more likely to let me use the toaster oven if I was gonna make something for myself. Max likes it extra toasty, so we're gonna wait longer than we think it needs. All right, I think it's about done. I'm gonna check on it, and oh, that is not bad. So I think I might wanna leave it in a little bit longer just so the cheese can get nice and crispy, but you can see the cute little decal on, like obviously this, is, this bread is not the right size for the waffle, but we can see the cute little pika, and I think that's adorable. So I'm just gonna let this chill a little bit longer, or I guess, cook a little bit longer until our cheese gets nice and crispy so it'll come off. I'm going to try to get this out as clean as possible. It looks like that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. You can see crispy cheese pico. Let me give it a little cross section. And that looks pretty good. It's like, where'd my turkey go? <laughs> I played it up on our Hello Kitty Sanrio. I don't usually eat this. It's not my favorite, but I'm gonna give it a dish. Mm, that's good. You see? The bread is nice and toasty, and the cheese is really crispy. Mm. I would say this is a success because it's a little bit easier in the sense that I don't have to watch it. Normally I put it in a pan and I press it, and then I have to flip it, so I press it with another pot with a jug on top to weight it down. But this is just one device, so that's a win. I would do that again. And uh, potentially someone, maybe 10 or so, could be able to make their own little crispy sandwiches like this when they get home from school. All right, I whipped up a batch of Jiffy cornbread. Just the basic 50 cent cornbread that everybody is used to for Thanksgiving. Something I've learned about waffles and making a lot of cornbread waffles in my day is you want to underfill it if possible so it doesn't ooze out and make a giant mess. So close it and I'll see you in five minutes. About five minutes has passed and our waffles look pretty done. I did not follow my own advice and you can see how it all oozed out the backside. So I'm gonna let this cool off and be open and then I will clean this up because it is a giant mess. I have exactly how I remember it. Well, yeah, I thought this square waffle would be ideal because you could use it to make little sandwiches like a little egg McMuffin McWaffle blah blah blah. Little Pikachu's face will put a smile on the face of any child or young at heart millennial. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you like waffles. Are you a waffle or a pancake person? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, keep on cooking.